All right, I just wanted to give everybody a little uh, a little demonstration here of my needle thrust bearing pump rebuild. This is a 2.0 model, so it's a little easier to demonstrate. All right, so what we have here is no more little sealed bearings that are radial sealed bearings. Now we have needle bearings. And I have the front seal out for uh, clarity, as we can see. And then we have the actual shaft that's been machined. Smaller, uh, smaller diameter for the seal. And then the rest of it is turned down exactly the same size all the way down the shaft. Except for right there at the end, you have the needle thrust bearing at the end. That's uh, That takes all of that axial load the impeller is trying to pull this axle out and this thrust bearing is what handles all of that it's designed to take those loads so when you slide everything together So that's how free it spins. And it'll spin that free if there's no seal. You add the seal, it'll be a little stiffer. But uh, it's just the free wheels now. You have those needle bearings in there. There's uh, virtually no friction anymore. So it's just free to spin. So that is my adaptation of the sea do pump. That's where I got the idea from. I've been trying to do this for years. I've just basically mimicked the Mokai axle to the sea do So you see what I've done here. I basically duplicated sea do's design to the Mokai. The sea pump takes 55, 60, 70, 80 horsepower, 6,000 plus RPM. It can handle that all day long. You notice the needle bearings are roughly pretty much the same size. So after converting the Mokai pump to that design, it can handle 6,000, 7,000 RPM and all the horsepower these little boats could uh, throw at it. Um, indefinitely so but there you go a little walk around in my pump rebuild some of my little secrets there all right